Hedge fund billionaire Ken Griffin says US should have let Silicon Valley Bank die. Hedge fund boss Ken Griffin says the US government should have allowed Silicon Valley Bank to go under as a lesson in moral hazard, rather than stepping in with a rescue package, reports the Financial Times. The Californian-based bank was shuttered late last week when customers withdrew more than $40 billion, over a quarter of its total deposits, in a single day. But instead of allowing the lender to collapse, regulators came through with a bumper package that they claimed would cover all depositors in full. However, while this sounds like good news, at least for the bank's customers, billionaire Citadel founder Griffin believes it to be a sign that US capitalism is failing. He told Financial Times, quote, The US is supposed to be a capitalist economy, and that's breaking down before our eyes. There's been a loss of financial discipline with the government bailing out depositors in full, he told Financial Times. According to Griffin, the bank's demise was caused by a lax approach from regulators, who critics have claimed missed numerous warning signs that it was in trouble. As such, he says, there's a chance that stepping in to save it could set a bad precedent. Quote, the regulator was the definition of being asleep at the wheel. It would have been a great lesson in moral hazard. Losses to depositors would have been immaterial, and it would have driven home the point that risk management is essential. End quote. The Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation needs to guarantee deposits now. As reported by Financial Times, not everybody in Griffin's position feels the same. Pershing Square Capital Management CEO Bill Ackman called for the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation to, quote, explicitly guarantee all deposits now, end quote. Ackman also said via Twitter that, quote, our economy will not function effectively without our community and regional banking system, end quote. For more informed news, follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Google News, or subscribe to our YouTube channel.